Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you wonderful people. Pray the Lord. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. I greet you from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. I give you what they said. Amen. Let's get right into it. I happened to be up. I was I was still in bed, but I was awake. I normally get up one time in the middle of the, in the middle of the night. Once I go to bed, I normally get up one time in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I lay back down and go to sleep. Sometimes I lay back down, but I don't go to sleep. I turn on Facebook. <coughs> so this morning about uh, well early too long, five o'clock, four o'clock, somewhere there. I was looking, happened to see a, a, a great woman of God, sister, sister Jessica Jackson Stone. She's married now. Sister Jessica Jackson Stone. Teaching the word of God. Live. So I happened to catch, be up and catch her this morning. And she said something that, that I told her, put on her post. I said, I'm going to teach this, which I've taught before, but never left. She said, God, God will keep you. God will keep you. You know, we say, well, the Holy Ghost is the keeper. You need that keeping power. You don't have that keeping power if you don't have the Holy Ghost. Let me just interject something. They were not filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. They didn't even have a new birth. Before Jesus came. One bird said, uh, uh, Joshua and Caleb. And they say Caleb had a new, uh, a different spirit in him. But he wholly followed the Lord. You had a remnant that obeyed God. They didn't even have a new bird. They didn't, they weren't filled with the Holy Ghost, but they obeyed God. They kept in command. I know that messed up some of y'all, but that's all right. That's all right. Wait a minute. Some of you got the Holy Ghost. It has a new birth. It does messed up and failed in everything. You mean the Holy Ghost didn't keep you? Uh-oh. I'm probably sorry, you listen. Wait a minute. You with the Holy Ghost in the new birth. It's speaking all the time that spirit gave you under. You you messed up. You mean oh, wait a minute, the Holy Ghost didn't keep you. The Holy Ghost didn't keep Peter when Paul had to correct him. Uh huh. In the what, first chapter or second chapter of the book of Galatians? With Paul confronted him. Wait a what? 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 <laughs> you mean the Holy Ghost didn't keep him? 
His ass sister Jessica said that she was so true. I heard somebody else say. The Holy Ghost will keep you, but you keep yourself. The Holy Ghost will keep you if you keep yourself. If you do your part, you got to have, have a desire. You got to have a made up mind. You go with the Lord. Come here on the high wall. You go with the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I will say this. You cannot be filled with the Holy Ghost. Some of you say you feel with the Holy Ghost. You ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. How you gonna be filled with the Holy Ghost? It just said all willy did disobey God. You know you disobey, you ain't gonna do it anyway because you keep doing it. You ain't saved. You ain't even saved. What about with you? That that don't bother you. Ain't no problem gotta call you out. And say, don't you do this, don't you do this. You ain't even saved. Nobody with the nobody with the Holy Ghost, nobody that truly saved with the new burden, born of water and spirit, a new heart in them. All they see is washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. And they filled with the Holy Ghost. But they were just speaking all the time, speaking again, what? Nobody that that can do wrong and continue to do wrong and don't repent. Now, I believe some people just back, they make up their mind, they go backslide. I heard a preacher say one time, he believes some of these folks are making up their mind, they go to hell. If some of you folks preach, they'll believe, they that preach, they'll believe, they don't even believe what they preach. Hey! Glory to God. All right. Now. You're going to keep yourself. You're going to keep yourself even, even when you get ready to be saved. And see, that, and see, that's the problem. That's why you got Christians talking about they can see it all with it, did it. Probably see it every day. You wouldn't talk the word of God? Nobody else see it. You would not talk the word of God? Well, ain't nobody put me. You rejected the word of God. Jesus said, be that. And you refused to be that. But this stuff is taught in church, honey. I know what I'm talking about. When you got to repent. They're not it's, it's a minister that used to be at our church. I, I, I inquired about him yesterday. I said, where's Elder so-and-so at? They tell you, they say, well, he gone. I've been here having conversations maybe a year, maybe two, three years ago. I told him, I say, the reason we got all this, all this, all these, 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 these sinners saying they say is still committing sin. And because they are not taught to repent, and they not repenting either. They taught that because say what's on mouth. I believe Jesus Christ the Son of God, he died wrong, get on to a day. Just say that speech and you say. They not taught to repent. <clears throat> you gotta keep yourself. You gotta have a desire to be kept. You gotta make up your mind. I'm going with Jesus. Hallelujah. And in order to be kept, your mind got to be on doing the will of God. Watch what you let in your mind. Watch the conversation you keep. Watch where you go. 
you're going to keep your own self. Yet, in the book of Jude, it says, Thou art to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you. Let's get that. Hallelujah to God. Let's get that. Hallelujah to God. Woo! Hold on there, brown little scripture to me. Know that the word move me, honey. Give me the book of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Jude chapter, I mean, verse 24. Thou art to him that is able to keep you from falling. Do, do you understand? Jesus and the Holy Ghost and God will help you to stand. The word will help you. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. How you sin against God with the word in your heart? In thy word does I meditate day and night. How you meditate on the word and sin? Whatever you meditate on, that's what you do. You can't meditate on nothing wrong. Meditate on long enough. You're going to do it. Have some, have the wrong thing in your mind long enough. You're going to do it. If you don't do it physically, it's going to be in your mind. But he didn't look on the woman to lust after her. And he ain't even touched that woman. But in your mind. Uh -huh. Now what to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. He ain't presenting you faultless if you not faultless. If you got sin, you ain't faultless. But Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will cleanse you from all your sin. His blood is for the remission, for the cleansing, for the taking away of your sin. Jesus Christ. And he told you to repent. It won't be saying you'll repent. He won't go to you. Do he say to you repent? Thou art to him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory when the sea is on. Present you faultless. Then go to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. I'm talking to saints now, hearty. That should have been taught this. That used to be taught this, but they not taught this. They not taught this no more. Man, what I got to say. They say everything you got to come out. You can't go to heaven in your sin. You got to repent of your sin. Get rid of everything. That's not like God. Do all you know to do that wrong. Stop it. Stop doing it. Don't do it. God, God, God ain't gonna take no ain't gonna take no cigarettes out of your hand. You gonna do it. You gonna put it down. God ain't gonna make you stop cussing nobody out if you want to cuss them out. You gonna stop cussing them. It ain't no cussing in the new nature. If, if, you, if some been doing so long, if, if it's a habit, it just, it just comes out where you need to be saying you need Jesus. You need the new heart and the new nature. He'll change you. You gonna stop standing folks in the back. You gonna stop seeking revenge on somebody. You gonna stop being a racist little big. And a liar. And a false prophet. 
What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Ha, 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 ha. He feeds the waterfall. Says, according as he had told us in here before the foundation of the world that we shall be holy. Without blame. Before he'll be loved, without blame. If you got sin, that's blame. Well, he don't see my sin, he see the blood. You are a liar. Don't know Bible say no mess like that. The eyes of the Lord is in every place. Behold the evil and the good. <clears throat> well, I feel all right. You going to keep yourself. You, you want to be saying you're going to do whatever he said do. You do what the devil tell you to do, and you don't want to be saying you do what the devil tell you to do. The devil told you to see it. Who told you to pick up a cigarette and smoke? You didn't come and smoke it. Who told you that? The Lord didn't tell you that. The Lord didn't tell you to get drunk. Uh huh. The Lord didn't tell you to go around taking no women. The Lord didn't tell you to be a homog or a sissy or a lesbian. He didn't tell you to do that. Someone taught you to do that. Someone told you to do that. Who did that? God showed it do it. But you don't know the word of God, and that's why God sent the preacher. That's why God gave us his word and sent us on Jesus Christ. And that's why we preach Jesus. It was a young man that died. And I knew one of his, his cousins. And she was feeling sad. And she said, well... It, 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 some took that paraphrase. I can't think of everything she said. I had to correct her. Hey, no, you don't die, somebody. Well, live it up. Smoke all the dope you want. And just, uh, might well live it up. I said, oh, no, 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 no. You got to step before God one day and be judged. Well, then, you don't live it up. I told several, several that. Man, we only got one life to live in, but my bed ain't over. You're going to rise from the dead, and you're going to step before God. Now, when you step before God, and you did, and you did not get, your, get, get repair of your sin before you left this earth, before you died. Lot don't look. You didn't come here knowing the scripture. You had to be taught the scripture. You had to be taught the ways of the Lord. You had to be taught the gospel of Jesus Christ. You also know, notice you don't have to teach. Don't you get this? You do not have to teach when the when the baby first come in come in the world. You don't have to teach him what to do. I mean. You don't have to teach him to do wrong, but you have to teach him to do right. You have to teach him or her. You have to teach the child the right thing to do. You don't have to teach them the wrong thing to do. They come in up, they were toy, they'll, they'll take the other person's toys. Glory to God. They'll take something not there. Glory to God. What you tell them to do, they 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 they, they won't do. Glory to God. <laughs> but you gotta teach them the ways of the Lord. You gotta teach them the right way. And you're gonna have plenty of people teaching them the wrong way, teaching them human nature. 
Somebody got to be standing up and tell them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, that's what you for for. Glory to God. That's what you for for. Did every, man, did every one of you, wait a minute. And here it is. Four and four and four and one. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus Christ. This is an exhortation here. Not to have you jump it. <laughs> that as ye have received of us, how ye all to walk and to please God. That's an exhortation there. Exhort you to please God, not the devil. So you would abound more and more so you could grow and go higher and higher. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. You know what commandment we gave you. Now the Lord ain't telling none of y'all to sin. That's the devil telling you that. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. Now the act of fornication is natural. Human nature, the specific act, biology, the physical act, is not sin. But who you doing it with? And you're supposed to do that act with your wife or husband. It also going after other gods. That's part of the case also. You cheat no God. Saint Christian, you cheat no God. It's spiritual adultery. I didn't mean with this being low, but God knows. God bless you, Sister Jessica Jackson Storm. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. You ought to know how to keep yourself. Don't you be messing around with them old fast, fast tail gang. But some of them touch girls and touch beards and don't you be messing around with them. When the conversation changed, you better get out of there. When they go talking on your clothes, they question you about how long, uh, how you ain't got nobody. You better get out of there. Be careful what you watch on TV. <laughs> Boy, not to the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentile, with no not God, not to the lust of the flesh, not to the lust of sin. Because you got a desire to please God. You got to have a will and desire made up by to please God to keep his commandments. <clears throat> there goes say, don't defraud your brother. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be, you gotta do right. You won't be saying you won't go with Jesus, you gotta do right. Excuse me. <clears throat> Romans. See, they don't teach this. Yay! Romans 6. Even in the church, it's a shame before God. 
Romans 6, I mean, it made, I, I, I had to fight it at the similar eye to you. The, the new best company is Romans 6. We, we are the great way to allow the boat. So we ain't got to keep no command. What? Romans 6, 15. What they said, we said, because we are not under the law, but under the great God for me, God said no. Know ye not that whom ye yield yourself service to obey his service, ye are, whether sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. If you obey sin, you serve the sin. You are your father, the devil. And your spiritual father, the pastor. I don't care if you'll never say nothing. You got to hear it right. Verse 12. Let not sin devil reign your body. body. Get the wrong thoughts and things come in your body. Come across your mind. Temptation come across your mind. Get it out. Then you should obey it. If it stay in you, if you dwell on it long enough, you got to obey it. Come get it out. Cast the devil out of your own mind. Watch this. Now, now if you say, A and five, Romans A five. For they that are after the flesh do by the deeds of the flesh. You you, you after the flesh, you after see it. That what you pay attention to. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. You after the spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Your mind is on how to please Him and do His will and keep His command. Not on how to break His command. God will keep you. He will keep you from falling. But you got to keep yourself. He, he ain't going to put no chokehold on us. He ain't going to blind you so you won't lust after no women. He ain't going to kill your nature, your human nature, when he saved you. So only, only your wife can, can, can get you around. You get to close the other folks, they'll get you aroused too. He ain't gonna kill your human nature. But you, you need to know how to, hallelujah. It's something, thing, how about sometimes you see things by accident. You gotta be godly enough. Praise God. Sometimes people dress now in, be the scuts and everything. You can't shut your eye. You got to see and don't see. Yeah, it look good to you too, Jesus. And the men's too. Men look good to women. But you can buy beauty without lusting. You go about your business. Praise the Lord. Pray the Lord. What more we can say? But that that's good right there, boy. That's good. All right. God bless your heart. Okay. God bless you. Thank all of you for viewing. God ain't gonna wrestle with you to keep you from doing wrong. <laughs> no, he ain't. You go do right, called do right is in you. And you desire to do right. Oh, be right, be right. I just want to be right. I God, if you want to be right, you'll run out of your coat. If you want to be right, don't tell them you ain't no love without sin. You'll tell them and you'll rebuke. Get out of my faith. Well, abide, evil sin. <laughs> Go sin no more. Walk out of the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You will let the fault probably be a curse for breaking the love of God. 
So is he for you, you a liar, wonderful prophet. God still cries times off, you a liar. All of us say, you a liar. You said because you didn't obey. Why you lie no man? God will keep you, but you gonna keep yourself. God ain't gonna put no chokehold on you. God ain't gonna break your legs so you won't walk somewhere you ain't gotta be walking. God ain't gonna put your eyes out so you won't see something you ain't gotta be seeing. All right. Thank you for being.